There are two ways to stretch or shrink a clip inside Audition. One is an effect called stretch and pitch, and the other is less an effect and more a feature called clip time stretching. I'm going to show you the stretch and pitch effect in this tutorial. I'm going to save the clip time stretching for the next tutorial, but I want to introduce you to that feature in this tutorial. So to follow along, go get these files, get Singer WAV here inside Working Files Demo Files, get the Gettysburg inside the Narrations subfolder, and then get the multi-track session inside the multi-track session subfolder 0904. When you get that one, it brings in this one file, organ LWAV. All right, let me show you the effect here first. Effects, time and pitch, stretch and pitch. Now this is a process effect, which means you can apply it only directly to a clip here inside the waveform editor, be it the spectral pitch view or the spectral frequency display or the waveform view. This is the only place you can apply it, and it goes directly on the clip, and when you apply it, it changes the clip. The other effect, the so-called clip time stretching, which I mentioned is more of a feature and less an effect, that is only available inside a multi-track session. So I'll open up the multi-track session. I've got one clip in it just to show this to you. And up here, there's a little button that says Toggle Global Clip Stretching. And when you click that button, you get a little triangle here that allows you to stretch the clip. And I'm going to talk about this in the next tutorial, but that is the difference. It's a real-time thing. It doesn't change the clip. It happens in the multi-track session. When you use this, you can adjust its properties over here inside the Properties panel for the multi-track session. So we're not going to work with this in this tutorial. We will in the next one. So let's just go back to the files and work on them directly with the stretch and pitch effect. So here we go. I've got this uh, Gettysburg address thing, the first part. Four score and seven years ago. You've heard this before. What I want to do is I want to shrink this to fit. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Right now it's 12 seconds long. Now I could trim the end a little bit or trim the beginning, but I'm just going to let them stay loose like that because I want to just show you how this effect works. I want to shrink it down from its 12 second duration here to 10 seconds because we have to fit it in a 10 second time zone. The president needs to speed up his speech. So I'm going to do that here using the stretch and pitch effect. So I'm going to go up to effects, go up time and pitch, and stretch and pitch, and here we are. This effect has two options, isotope radius and audition. Isotope radius lets you adjust stretch and pitch, either or both. If you select audition, you can do only one or the other, stretch or pitch shift. And the audition version, I think, doesn't work as well as the isotope. Isotope you've seen before with some VST plugins, and so I would accept that as the default way to work with things and just don't worry about the audition side of things. The precision over here, the higher it is, the harder your processor has to work, but you know, in these days, Processors can handle most things pretty well, so I just leave it at high like that. But what I want to do here is I want to take this current 12 second duration, which is also written out as 11.999, and I want to change that to 10 seconds and see what happens. That's just my goal here, just to make this guy 10 seconds long instead of 12. So I just go in here type 10. If I type 000 now, it's going to shift to 9.99, but that's all right. That's just how it works. So now I'm changing the duration from 12 to 10, and let's listen to it. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty. So you get a sense, okay, I'm talking faster, but my pitch hasn't changed, and the timbre is pretty good. It's not perfect. It has a little bit of a metallic sound to it, but that's pretty good. When you got to fit that slow-talking guy into the advertisement, and you got to shrink down the time, this is a good way to do that. There's an advanced section for the isotope selection. It says, okay, is it a solo instrument of voice? Well, yeah, it is. And so let's check that. And preserve speech characteristics? You bet. That's a good thing. So those are a couple of good things to click, although I'm not sure that makes a dramatic difference. We'll try it again here. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation. Et cetera, et cetera. So that's just a basic overview of how you can shrink or expand time here inside the stretch and pitch effect. It's just a good way to make things fit if you are sort of desperate and need to get all the words in in a shorter period of time, or if you want to take your speaker and stretch him out a little bit, just when you need to sort of fill a gap, you can always rely on this guy to do that. I'm going to close this and go to a different file, to the Singer WAV file. Here we've got the singer singing this familiar refrain. Just too hard to find. So if I want to stretch that out or shrink it down, I can use the same effect. Effects, time of pitch, stretch and pitch. And do the same thing I just did before. And we'll see how that affects her tone. I'll go to the uh, default settings. And let's say we want to make it just a little bit shorter. Let's say we want to, you know, instead of 100%, we'll take it down to 90 or let's say 
That'll make it shorter, so it'll we'll have to speed up her voice. Let's see what that sounds like. Just too hard to find. You can sort of hear just a little change in the timbre, but not bad. Let's take it up a bit. Let's slow her down. We need to have a sort of a smokier feel to it. Let's take it to 120% like that. We'll see how that sounds. Just too hard to find. I mean, you, know, you can hardly detect that there's something different about the timbre of her voice there. It does a pretty good job. Let me just go back to the default setting. So you can stretch out or shrink even a singer whose pitch is important and you don't hear any change in the pitch. But let's say we want to change the pitch. Now we could do this inside the manual pitch correction effect. So, I mean, this is kind of the quick and dirty way to do it. You might want to rely more on the manual one. But if you want to just do a quick one here, this is a good way to do it. So to go up a third, as they call it, we need to go up four semitones. So I'm going to go to four here. And tab that one. I want to play that for a second, see what that sounds like. Just too hard to find. Hard to make that sound exactly right in terms of the timbre. We'll even open up the advanced thing here and say, let's have that be a solo instrument. See how that works. Just too hard to find. The pitch coherence, if we raise that up a little bit, maybe that'll help things. Just too hard to find. Yeah, a little bit. But you can see that when you start changing the pitch here, it does begin to sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks a little bit. We'll take it down. Give her kind of a smoky feel. We'll go down a third. Minus four. Tap it over and see what that sounds like. Just too hard to find. Just a little too smoky. So you can see that the pitch shift does not work as effectively as the time stretch side of things. But you can see that you can use the stretch and pitch effect to get your audio to fit a space. And then if it's not too drastic a change, then the pitch won't be too obviously different and the timbre won't be too obviously different. So for a quick way to make some fixes, the stretch and pitch effect is a good way to go.